Pennsylvania's 8th Congressional District covers Lackawanna, Pike, and Wayne counties, and parts of Monroe and Luzerne counties. Democrat Congressman Matt Cartwright is currently serving in his sixth term. His Republican challenger is business owner Rob Bresnahan. The candidates agree there is a need to improve workforce development in northeastern Pennsylvania. On the topic of immigration, Cartwright and Bresnahan both support securing the southern border. We have to get a hold of uh, securing our southern border. That's why I am one of the founding members of the Democrats for Borders and Security Task Force. Uh, that's why I would have voted yes on the, um, uh, on the Jim Langford bill. He came up with a bill that was very tough, um, but it, it achieved border security that everybody could live with. Uh, I wish we could have passed it, uh, this Congress. Uh, but unfortunately, Mike Johnson, um, uh, to put it very bluntly, he put politics over people. I've been to the border uh, two separate times, and I've seen it. And this isn't a Republican and, or a Democrat issue. This is a humanitarian crisis. When you're talking about the illegal migrants or the migrants that are seeking asylum that are already in the United States, we need to get these people working, whether they're through work visas, and they need to be contributing to whether it's Social Security or into our workforce. As for housing, Bresnahan believes in targeted programs. I think we have to be targeted on the way that we deliver it by making it more cost effective for people to reinvest and make those affordable housing opportunities. Because you need it for the workforce. I mean, you need it, if you're going to attract people to northeastern Pennsylvania, you need a place to live. While Cartwright believes housing might be best handled by the private sector. There are things that government can do really well. Uh, I hesitate when you come to housing. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Uh, private developers are really good at doing housing. Uh, and, and, and housing isn't one big monolith, okay? It's one project at a time, at a time, at a time. When it comes to transportation and the proposed Amtrak connection between Scranton and New York, Congressman Cartwright says it would be a boost for the local economy. And he supported the bipartisan infrastructure bill that includes funds for it. When you cut off uh, a connection to a major commercial center like Greater Metropolitan New York City, that hurts your economy. Amtrak has economists and they have reinforced my own belief, they validated my idea uh, um, by, by estimating that um, we're going to get a, an awful lot of economic development money every year um, because once that line goes in. While Bresnahan agrees it is a great opportunity, he has concerns about its operations and the costs. My concerns on the project would be at what point, how do we police the systems? Because we are within very close proximities to New York, so we're going to have to establish a port authority of some degree, and uh, we're going to have to hire more officers, um, obviously, to protect our community. We don't want to use this as a, you know, as a way for nefarious bad actors to find their way back to northeastern Pennsylvania. But what I don't want to see is the taxpayers of northeastern Pennsylvania end up having to foot the bill after federal subsidies uh, wear out. According to the Greater Scranton Chamber, health care is the largest employment sector in the 8th District. The candidates answered questions regarding prescription drugs and the health care costs. Cartwright touted his support of the Inflation Reduction Act, while it lowered the cost of insulin for seniors to $35 per month. The cap insulin for seniors at $35 a month is huge. Uh, I don't think there's any family that doesn't have somebody in the extended family who's diabetic, uh, and who has had to pay through the nose for insulin. Bresnahan says it's misleading. Yeah, we can cap insulin at $35. That's for a 30-day supply. That doesn't include a 40-day prescription, a 60-day prescription.